and my name is Kelly, and I'm from the Management Study Guide's content team. In this course, we will talk about Charles Handy Model in detail. Let's get started. Jennifer Smith has joined Oswald Software Inc. as a senior software tester. She has about three years of experience working as a software tester in her previous organization, Leonard Inc. On the first day of her work at Oswald Software, Jennifer realized that this organization is very different from her previous organization. Her feeling proved to be right in a period of over a month as she continued to work at Oswald. Jennifer found that only the people at the top of the hierarchical order had the power to make decisions, and only they were authorized to take decisions. These powerful people also enjoyed special privileges at the workplace. They were the most important people at the workplace and were also the major decision makers. Jennifer realized that Oswald culture did not give her the liberty to express her views or share her ideas on an open forum, and she just had to follow what her superior says. She also noticed that most of the managers in such a type of culture were sometimes partial to someone, and hence this led to major unrest among others. Jennifer was finding it increasingly difficult to adjust to Oswald's culture. At Leonard, her previous organization, the culture was much more open and friendly. Leonard's culture was such that every employee was delegated roles and responsibilities according to their specialization, educational qualification, and interest to extract the best out of them. The employees had the liberty to decide what they can do best and willingly accept the challenge. Every individual was accountable for something or the other and had to take ownership of the work assigned to them. In Leonard's work culture, power came with responsibility. Jennifer tried her best to adjust to Oswald's culture, but she just could not adjust in a culture where she just had to follow orders. She was used to a more open culture where she could freely express her ideas and opinions to her superiors. Finally, Jennifer gave up after trying for a year. She decided that Oswald's culture was just not something she could ever get used to and decided to quit her job at Oswald. For her next interview, she made sure that she found out about the organization's culture from its current employees, the HR, and the company website. The Charles Handy model is one such model, which helps you to understand the various kinds of organization cultures followed in organizations. Let us learn about Charles Handy model in detail. Let's review the course objectives. Explain what is organization culture. Describe the types of organization culture. Explain what is the Charles Handy model. Explain what is the gods of management. Explain the characteristics of Zeus or club culture. List advantages and disadvantages of Zeus or club culture. Explain the characteristics of Apollo or role culture. List advantages and disadvantages of Apollo role culture. Explain how to improve in Apollo culture. Explain the characteristics of Athena or task culture. List advantages and disadvantages of Athena or task culture. Explain characteristics of Dionysus or extessential culture. List advantages and disadvantages of Dionysus culture. Describe the uses of the Charles Handy model. Explain how to understand the organization's culture. Every organization has certain values and follows some policies and guidelines which differentiate it from others. The principles and beliefs of any organization form its culture. The organization culture decides the way employees interact amongst themselves as well as external parties. There are various types of organization cultures, such as the following. Normative, Pragmatic, Academy, Baseball Team, Club, Fortress, Tough Guy, Bet Your Company, and process culture.
Let's look at each one of them in detail. According to Charles Handy's model, there are four types of culture which the organizations follow. They are power culture, task culture, person culture, and role culture. Let's look at each one of them in detail. Power culture. There are some organizations where the power remains in the hands of only a few people and only they are authorized to take decisions. They are the ones who enjoy special privileges at the workplace. They are the most important people at the workplace and are the major decision makers. These individuals further delegate responsibilities to the other employees. Four gods of management, their associated culture and picture is as follows. Greek god Zeus, culture, club culture, picture, spider web. Greek god Apollo, culture, role culture, picture, Greek temple. Picture associated with Apollo, role culture. A Greek temple is the picture associated with the Apollo or role culture. The functions and divisions in an organization are represented by the pillars of the temple. As in a Greek temple, each of these functions or pillars are joined managerially only at the top. Hence, at the top of the temple is the pediment formed by the board, management committee, or president's office, which heads all the functions and divisions joined together. Organizations following the task or Athena culture first locate or find the problem. Then, they allocate appropriate resources to solve the problem and wait for the results. Athena is a symbolic representation for this culture. Athena is the goddess of wisdom. Dionysus is the symbol of existentialism, which believes in our control on our fates. Therefore, such organizations typically consist of independent specialists who enter the organization only to achieve their own purposes. Such a culture is best suited in situations where there is ample individual ta talent available and the people are encouraged to work independently. Here's a tip. It's important that in order to avoid conflicts, you should always mix cultures in appropriate ways. A startup may become more Apollonian as the organization grows. Also, as organizations grow, Athenian culture also becomes more rules-based. Uses of the Charles Handy Model The Charles Handy Model helps any individual joining an organization, as well as the management, to have an understanding of the organization culture. Based on the organization culture, an individual and the management can try to best fit in and adjust to the culture. By then, the individual can perform to the best of their ability and gain from the organization and also benefit the organization in return. This is just a demo of the complete course. With every course, you get to view the course content.